hey guys welcome back to my channel so we are on day three which means that if you're watching this i've uploaded three days consistently which is bravo to me which also means i've done inktober for three days now let's see how long this will continue so just a quick rundown of all the supplies that i am using i'm using micron pens in double o five in 01, 03, 05, and 08, and also their PN, which I think is like nib. I'm also using a black wing pencil to do the outline for like the main item, just because a lot of them are getting kind of intricate and I don't want to mess up. But all the little ones on the side are always done in just micron pens without a sketch underneath. I am also using a kneaded eraser, a Tombow mono eraser, which is just like a really tiny eraser, and Posca pens in black and white. I haven't really used the black one yet, but I have it just in case. And also my Pento high polymer eraser, which is just your regular eraser. The paper that I'm using is Hobby Lobby bookmark paper. It is two inches by six inches. I said in my other videos that this year I've decided to do Inktober in bookmarks. I've already laminated the first ones and they look amazing, so I'm super excited about that. Let's talk about the prompt now. So day three prompt is bait. Now I don't know why, but the first thing that came to my mind when I thought of bait was jail bait. Why? I don't know. I think I'm watching way too many crime shows and reading way too many crime books, but that is the first thing that came to my mind. And I didn't know how to draw that. So the second thing I came up with was like tackle bait, like for fishing. But I looked up images and they look really complicated and it just didn't excite me. So I decided to draw a fish head, like the skeleton of a fish with a hook in it because either it can be bait or it took bait. I don't know, interpret it the way you want, but I like it, it kinda, I got to draw some fish skeleton. Are they accurate? No, do not take this as like an accurate representation of what the skeletal system of a fish looks like, but it's not. Um, which was the hardest part to be honest, just because when I looked up reference photos of skeletal fish structure, anatomy, whatever, they were really intricate. I didn't think that they were, but surprise to me, they are. So I simplified it a lot uh, and made something simple. Um, the thing I struggled the most was getting this thing centered. It isn't. I've come to terms with it. That's okay. But it took a long time for me to understand that I couldn't fix it because I had already finished sketching it in ink when I noticed that it wasn't centered but that's okay it's laminated now and that's just how it's gonna be <laughs> forever but this prompt went a lot easier than i thought it would just because there was more to be inspired by and i dig it so tomorrow's prompt i believe is freeze i don't know what i'm gonna do for freeze I'm currently contemplating what I'm do gonna do for freeze. I just finished one day and I'm already worrying about the next day. But that's, that's what we'll find out tomorrow. The little doodles that I did on the side were kind of like aquatic. I kind of want to like keep with like the, the ocean theme, river. I don't really know wherever this fish came from. But I thought they were cute. I thought something in the middle that was kind of like dead and morbid, surrounded by things that were super cute and nautical, just, just, I don't know. It just made sense to me. <laughs> and I actually really like the way this one came out. I think out of all of them so far, this one's my favorite out of the three, hands down. So I'll see you guys tomorrow back here at my channel for day four. And yeah don't forget to comment like and subscribe so you guys can see how far i get in this month 
I am uploading daily, which we'll see how this goes, but I'm excited. So, bye. See you tomorrow.